Hey, good morning, everyone. 7.15 is the time. And this morning, our very special guest is here. Cameron Furrida is a fifth grader at Laura Bush Elementary. He is 10 years old, but you wouldn't know it when you see that this is his creation. He is a published author. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for being here. So this is The Great Adventures of Rocky Raccoon, The Fight for Fang. Tell us about it. Um, what's about Rocky Raccoon and his adventures through Austin with his sidekick, Buff. Cool. And at the end, they run into an evil duo named Avila and Fang, and you can see on the cover. Ah. And they have to try to defeat them. All right, so a little adventure, definitely. How did you embark on this adventure? How did you come up with the idea? Well, about four years ago, my dad and I started it as a bedtime story. Okay. And we just wanted to write it down so we wouldn't forget, and I just wanted to tell everybody about him. I love how a bedtime story has turned into a published author. How did you come up with um, not only the story idea, but making it into a reality? Because this was just a thought, right? Yeah, it was. It took a long time. Like I said, it took four years. Yeah. But um, yeah, we had to spend the whole summer editing it out. That was really the thing that took the most time. Yeah, was the editing. And, and you actually went beyond Austin. You. This was something that was like a worldwide effort for you, right? Well, yeah, I guess yeah. it was. It was. Yeah. Well, you, I was in Norway whenever we started editing it. Very cool. So we were all over. And the publisher. Um, the pub well, actually, it's self-published. Okay. But um, our printer is McCarthy Print, yeah. and Frank there, he brought us through and showed us all the printers and how it was going to work and everything that was going to happen there. And what do your friends think about this? They think it's really cool, and they support <laughs> me on it. And so I was asking you during the break um, just a little bit about this, and you said that you're already working on your second one. Yeah, we're 75 pages into it. Wow. But this one's going to go a lot faster because now we already have the illustrator and the author, I mean, not the author. You're yeah, the author. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the printer and all sorts of, just all the people that we need, we already have them. So that was kind of the slow process, right, to get all that. But, you know, writing the book, is that a fast process for you? Can you just come up with stories on the go? Well, now that I've already done the first one, yes. Yeah. Okay. It comes really quickly. Can you tell me a little bit about the second one? I don't want you to give it all away. Or is that not good? Should we not talk well, about it? I can keep tell it a secret. A little. Okay. I can tell a little. Well, um, in this one, he's in Austin, but in the second one, they end up in Hawaii by mistake. Oh, okay. So if you want to meet Cameron, and maybe you can give people, some kids out there, some tips on how to get started as well. Or if you want to pick up a book and maybe parents read it to your kids at night, where can they go, Cameron? Um, Zinger Hardware at 38th and Lamar. Okay. I'm having a book signing tomorrow from 10 to 2, and there's going to be a Santa there bring your kids and there are going to be lots of different fun things. You can also get it online at www.rockyraccoonkids.com. Okay, and, and we should also mention this is already selling really well, isn't it? Yeah, I've sold a thousand copies in the last month and a half. Wow! All right, Cameron, best of luck in the future. And you said this is just for fun. It's really not what you want to do as a career, right? Not at all. Wow! All right. I'm impressed. I don't remember what I was doing at 10, but I wasn't doing this. Congrats, Cameron. Thank you. All right.